3 is the very first device that we're launching uh, here in India. It's uh, our highest performance device. Uh, it's basically our best put, 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 put forward. Uh, it's an incredibly premium device uh, that looks amazing. Uh, when you hold it, you'll right away uh, realize that you have it already. Uh, it's, uh, it has a metallic uh, looking back, which is beautiful. It's very, very light. It has uh, amazing curves. It fits amazingly in your hand. Uh, and it's an incredibly powerful device. Uh, as Vince said earlier, it's powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 AB, which is a 15% faster variant of Snapdragon 800, uh, which most of the devices on the late side of last year shipped with. Uh, so it's a very, very fa uh, fast device. Uh, it's consistently ranked near the top uh, or at the top of uh, benchmarks uh, out there. Um, uh, today, it's even ahead uh, from a performance perspective on Antutu uh, uh, compared to even devices with a faster processor. Uh, uh, our device featuring Snapdragon 800 is actually faster than a number of devices featuring Snapdragon 801, uh, which is, a, as you know, is a faster device. And that's thanks to the effort which has been mentioned earlier of always improving the operating system. We're always working to make things better. Our Antutu score has consistently gone up uh, since we first launched E3 um, a few months ago, because we keep working on making things better, we take a lot of feedback um, and we move that way. Uh, so this device features uh, two gigabytes uh, of RAM. Uh, the version we're shipping here in India uh, has 16 gigabytes of flash, uh, and it comes in the silver metallic color that you saw earlier. Uh, all the connectivity options you want, uh, it's an HSPA Plus device, so up to 42 megabits per second. Uh, 802.11ac, which is uh, gigabit wireless Ethernet, as you may know, NFC, uh, Bluetooth 4.0, uh, and then the various, you know, all the wireless streaming options that you may want, uh, DLMA, Miracast, uh, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, the uh, display on this device is, is extremely special. Uh, it's an IPS display, 1080p, full HD. Uh, the the viewing angles on this display are particularly amazing. Uh, uh, it's an IPS display that is as good as any Super AMOLED display that you may see, you know, given that that's considered to be the, the premium, uh, the best uh, technology in this. And the IPS display is absolutely amazing. Uh, uh, and 441 pixels per inch, of course, that's the highest resolution uh, that you can really, really expect. Uh, the camera uh, on this device is one of my favorite things, and it's the combination of hardware and, and software that actually fascinates me. So it's a, it's a 13 megapixel BSI sensor from Sony, as been mentioned earlier, f2.2, uh, so it's enough to give you uh, really interesting field of focus uh, in fact on your photos. Uh, but what I really like about this device, uh, the camera on this device, is actually the combination of software and hardware. Me 3 ships with the best HDR algorithm in the industry. You will not see a better looking HDR photo coming out of any device, whether it's a phone or a camera. Many of the SLRs are now coming with native HDR capability, as you will see on this device. I have some of my photos here. The first couple are not mine. They're from the fan community. Uh, these are not actually HDR photos. Uh, they're regular photos taken with me 3. All of the others that will follow are HDR photos uh, that I've taken myself. Uh, no retouching. These are just purely HDR photos coming from the camera. And you'll see this in the media kit a lot better. The screen here obviously doesn't really capture all the beauty and the saturation, but um, these are the most good-looking photos that you'll get, uh, hands down, out of any device when you use HDR. Uh, so these are all photos that I've taken myself. Uh, I'm a big uh, Formula One fan, so I was at the circuit a, a, a few months ago. Even this photo, uh, it's an HDR photo taken uh, of a subject in movement, uh, and the algorithm is smart enough to figure out how to combine the two frames uh, to come up with an image that has, does not have any blur on it. Um, and more and more photos that you can look at in the media kit that look uh, really, really uh, beautiful. This is one I took in Malaysia a couple months ago. Uh, uh, I'm going to skip through some of these features. Uh, Mi 3 ships with a native uh, a skin tone enhancement feature that actually uh, varies in intensity based on the age and the gender, so it'll work differently if you're uh, a girl or a guy, if you're younger or older. Uh, it's actually quite fascinating the way it works. Uh, and it's, it's, it's on by default, right? so, so that's how it works whenever you turn on the front-facing camera. Uh, I'll skip through some, of the, some other of these features as well. Uh, a very large internal battery, about 3,050 milliamp power, uh, coupled with some of the software features that I'll discuss this afternoon, 
uh, you've got you got amazing battery life for this actually out of this device. Uh, and uh, uh, what else? It comes uh, preloaded with uh, all of the uh, so-called GMS apps, so all of the essential Google apps, so Play Store, uh, Gmail, YouTube, Google Maps, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's also it also comes with a Google keyboard uh, as well as Swift key, uh, both uh, shipping on the device by default. You can choose which one you want to use when you power the device on. Uh, we're also shipping the, both the Facebook and the Flipkart uh, apps uh, to, to users here in India uh, with uh, with Mithi out of the box. Um, so the device is coming to India uh, on sale on uh, July 22nd. Uh, and the pre-registration period uh, starts um, on Flipkart today. In fact, uh, I think we might already be live. I'm looking for John to give me a thumbs up here. Um, so if we're not up already, we'll be live uh, in the next few minutes, uh, both on me.com uh, as well as flipkart.com slash mi. Uh, the registration period will last about a week. Uh, all you have to do is go to flipkart.com slash mi or just go to me.com. Uh, and you'll come onto the Flipkart website. If you already have a Flipkart account, you can just log in. If not, you can create one. And then you'll pre-register uh, for the sale on July 22nd. So exactly a week from today. So it's a seven-day uh, registration window um, on Flipkart. And uh, the price for me 3 which again goes on sale on July 22nd, is... Oops. There you go. 13999 now, um, I, I, as an engineer, of course, I like to do spec by spec comparison. I'm not going to bore you with the details here, but I, I, I put together this chart uh, to take a look at uh, what you get for 13999. Um, this table is ordered in increasing, in increasing order of price, and I use Flipkart uh, as a reference uh, prices as of last night. Um, so starting from the very top, uh, you know, HTC uh, M8, Galaxy S5, and so on and so forth, and you'll conclude pretty quickly here uh, when you look at things like our Antutu benchmark, right, which measures speed, uh, the resolution of the camera, uh, the size of the battery, and so on and so forth. What you get on Mi 3 uh, is absolutely unparalleled. It's what you would get on devices that cost two to three times um, the price. So we think this is an amazing uh, first product for us to launch here in India. Like I said earlier, it's our best foot forward. It's the most beautiful, fastest device that we've ever made. Uh, and we're really, really proud of it. Um, so we're starting July 22nd, uh, 13999 on Flipkart.com. As Ben mentioned earlier, we're also launching uh, a couple of other devices. Those are coming very soon. The first one is Redmi 1S. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail here. Suffice it to say, it's a dual SIM card, dual standby device with a removable battery uh, and a removable back. So you can have a couple of different batteries, you can have an external charger, these are all accessories that we're gonna bring. Uh, it's a 4.7 inch IPS display, 720p, Qualcomm Snapdragon 400, uh, quad core 1.6 gigahertz, with a gig of RAM and eight gigs uh, of flash. Um, so this device uh, is also pretty fast. Uh, you can look at the Android 2 score, about 22,000. And then the second device uh, that we're bringing also coming very soon, we'll announce the dates as soon as we have them, uh, is Redmi Note, which is a 5.5 inch device, also dual SIM, dual standby. This is an octo-core MediaTek, uh, 1.7 gigahertz, uh, with uh, a gig of RAM, uh, sorry, uh, two gigs of RAM. Uh, uh, did I make a mistake with the letter? That's correct. Two gigs of RAM uh, and eight gigs uh, of flash storage. Uh, also, like uh, with a very, very large battery that's about 3,100 milliamp hours uh, and a removable back. Uh, so these devices are coming very, very soon, uh, and the prices, respectively, here in the unit will be, uh, first of all, for Redmi 1S, uh, 6,999, and for Redmi Note, 9,999. Uh, again, I did another spec-by-spec spec, uh, comparison table uh, last night. And what you get uh, on these two devices, again, is quite amazing relative to what we've seen in the market. Uh, you know, for, uh, for just under 10,000 rupees, uh, you get a device with a 5.5 inch uh, display that has superior performance uh, to even 
uh, Galaxy Note 2 in equal performance, reasonably speaking, to Galaxy Note 3, which is a device that costs uh, significantly more money. Uh, similarly, similarly speaking, with Redmi One S at 6999. That's 2 gigabytes. Um, so there's a mistake here on this. This is 2 gigabytes, that's right. So this, this is wrong. Um, so uh, similarly with Redmi One S at 6999, if you get a device that has amazing performance, 20, almost 22,000 uh, on N22 uh, relative to what you get with devices that might cost three times more uh, than, than that one. So we think that with this combination of Mi 3, Redmi One S, Redmi Note, we're, we're setting, we're putting a really, really good, um, uh, taking a really good first step here in, in, in your course working uh, very closely with uh, our kinds of flip cards. Um, what I've been hearing repeated every time I read uh, articles, I talk to my friends, uh, particularly in the Android community here in India, is the importance of service. Uh, Indian users uh, really do make choices. They do make decisions based on the availability of service. What happens if I need to get my device repaired? Uh, well, we agree. Uh, we've made an incredible effort so far of building uh, 500 or, or, or partnering with companies to build 500 service centers in China, and we're bringing that same mentality here to India. So we're starting pretty strongly. Uh, we're starting with 36 uh, service centers um, here in India, uh, including covering the 20 largest cities, uh, including uh, two service centers that are exclusively Xiaomi, exclusively me branded uh, service centers, uh, which uh, which are new. Uh, and we're, we're working pretty aggressively on the operational metrics. So uh, Monday to Saturday uh, service, 10 to 6.30 p.m. So six days a week, 10 to 6.30 p.m. Um, for the service centers, uh, the 34 uh, or so service centers uh, uh, that are managed by our partners uh, in what we call a multi-brand environment, uh, we're doing best-in-class turnaround times. We're aiming for next day service. Uh, and we think we'll get there pretty quickly. Uh, which is quite unprecedented here in India, in fact, anywhere around the world. And in our service centers, in the exclusive Mi service centers, we have two uh, starting and many more coming, we're aiming for two-hour turnaround times, which has never been seen uh, here in India, or for that matter, uh, in almost any other country around the world. Uh, we're, we're aiming for the same targets uh, in all of our other markets. In China, we're already getting to one hour. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to one hour here at some point as well. Um, but we're making a huge investment uh, because we want to make sure that people believe that we're here to stay uh, with service. Uh, uh, so this is uh, a photo of the Bangalore Service Center, which we're just getting ready, uh, so it's still being decorated, and a few other photos from our other service centers uh, uh, around the nation. We're covering 20 seats here in, in Delhi. Uh, we have, in New Delhi, we have four uh, service centers in a multi-brand environment, uh, plus one in Gurgaon and uh, an exclusive service center that we're also open. So in the capital area alone, we're talking about six service centers. To start, we'll be adding more and more over time. Uh, and then you'll see here that in, you know, in Bangalore, we have four, including the exclusive service center, and then in uh, many of the other large cities, you know, Mumbai, uh, Calcutta, uh, Hyderabad, we have three uh, service centers, and then two and one in the other cities. And you'll have all of these details from the uh, from both the uh, media kit as well as our website and the Flipkart uh, and the Mi site, Mi microsite and Flipkart. We're working with these three partners, HCL, uh, TVS Electronics and Insure Services to bring this uh, sort of first class service experience uh, here to our users in India. Uh, customer support, uh, also extremely important. Uh, we actually have two routes uh, for you as a customer or prospective customer here in India. You can call the Flipkart uh, hotline, and they'll help you with your order, they'll help you make a choice, they'll inform you about the product, uh, they're very knowledgeable, they're very well trained uh, on our products, or you can call our dedicated hotline directly um, at the number that you can see here, uh, seven days a week.